This spot is, I, I chose uh, Pier 14 today to, to talk to you, not just because this is coming up on the three year anniversary of Kate Steinle's death and j it, just how, how timely it is to remind people that what caused Kate Steinle to die was a perfect storm of all of the failed liberal policies that are on display here in San Francisco. Let me enumerate those for you. First of all, you have the policy where they have uh, coddled criminals, where they have made it essentially uh, just a slap on the wrist if you break into somebody's car. And so there's been an incredible rash of car break-ins since they, they passed that, that city ordinance. Well, the reason that the, that illegal immigrant had a gun in the first place is because that gun had been stolen out of the car of a, uh, a BLM ranger, uh, a park ranger, who was on his way to Montana, and he stopped here on the Embarcadero to get dinner with his family, and somebody smashed two of his windows and stole that gun out of his car. Now, the reason he didn't have the gun on him is because of the ridiculous gun uh, control policies that they have in place here in San Francisco. And so he was with his family, was off duty. He wasn't really able to carry inside a restaurant. And so he had to leave the gun in his car to begin with. So those are two things. The third thing is that the illegal immigration policy, the sanctuary city policies that led to the fact that this five time deported illegal immigrant who had just been arrested and let out of jail by the, the, the sheriff here in San Francisco was not reported to ICE at where he should have been because he should have been deported again. He was not reported to ICE even though he was a felon and that allowed him to be here on this pier to pick up that stolen gun and to shoot and kill that 32 year old woman with her whole life ahead of her. Uh, again, just the perfect storm of all those liberal policies that came together to cause Kate Steinle to die and it didn't have to happen. And that was really what brought us to where we are today with Donald Trump and his policy of we are going to do something about this and we're seeing that he is.